So in today's session, we are going to discuss about Happy Fire Server. We are going to discuss about what is this particular server and how we can use the Fire instances and resource for this. Even if you don't know what is server, you can continue this video. I'll be explaining it. So let's discuss from very scratch. For example, how the server looks. So the server looks something like this. So in real time, practically, so when you even say the cloud storage, there will be servers in the data centers, uh, which almost look like this similarly. So it's a basic raw diagram. So what you call it as a server. So for your understanding, what I can say, server is nothing but a memory card. Okay, you have memory card, right? Our memory card slots in your phones and uh, laptops, SSD cards. So same thing, server is like a memory storage device, but it interacts. For example, to discuss more, it interacts in something like this. For example, if you have mobile, laptop or any other particular electronic equipment, they can interact with server to and fro. The communication can happen from server to the mobile, mobile to the server. So whatever you are trying to do online, the internet, automatically goes to the other end of the server and again you will receive back the response for example to discuss for example if you are trying to log into your github okay so there will be some server id something like this at the top of your uh, github right there will be some id like github dot slash dot something like that so automatically when you're trying to give the password and everything this will go to the server let's copy this and paste it over here for our understanding I'll say something like this, perfect. So automatically, this particular thing sends a hyperlink to the server asking, uh, saying that, uh, please authenticate me, I have given a username and password. So while you give the username and password, it will go to the server and automatically server sends the details, something like this through the web page and you'll be able to log in. For example, this is some uh, random guys, uh, GitHub page, so that's how it works. Similarly, even if you're logging into Facebook, right, there will be a URL at the top saying that facebook.com login page. Automatically, it will go to the Facebook server, whoever it is, and automatically the server posts the details and you will be able to log into your resource. So it's similar with the Gmail and whatever it is. So that's how server works. It's a virtually uh, interactive memory card, what I can say in my words. So don't get confused when someone says server, what is server, we are unable to understand. It's just like a memory card which can interact with you. How you are going to interact with this hyperlink, something like that. So it can be https.google.com or facebook.com. Every, every particular entity has their own server which they interact. But for our fire, we also need some, some server so we can post some of the fire resources and try to interact how we are getting it back, how we are getting back to our mobiles. For example, if you are pasting something from our laptop, the fire resources which we have discussed in the previous video it will go to the server and it should come back to your mobile so how it's going to happen so we need a server right this is a free server available uh, in the online which we can use you can uh, either directly log in, like go to this page page directly so even you can directly uh, copy this particular hyperlink and paste it in your url whatever it is so while you paste it, automatically you will be able to go to this particular server. So if you click on this URL or whatever it is, if you go back to the actual server, it will again pop up you to this particular page. This is a happy server where you are going to interact with the URL by giving different uh, resources in this particular address bar. So we'll go back and see how we are going to interact. In normal, when I say memory card, we can directly copy and paste thing uh, with our IAP. Right? Control C or Control V or try to interact with the memory card, right? So similarly, we have something like few methods where we are trying to paste and trying to interact with the server, delete some details and everything. For example, there is something like get. So if we are using this particular get method, automatically uh, you can pull the data and read it. For so for example, if there is any particular data in this particular server, what I will do. I just drag it over here. So I will be using this get method to this particular server and I can pull the data and read it. And I'll be showing all examples to you in the next videos and even the current video. So they're like different uh, basic method. For example, post. What this can be done is like it is used to insert data. For example, if I want to insert any particular patient data, for example, we'll take it as messy. I want to insert this, I'll be posting it. So by using this post method, I'll be pasting the data over here. Similarly, we have something like put or we can call it as patch also. 
if I want to update any data for example if I want to update Messi's phone number or anything I'll be using put data okay and I'm I just I'm saying Messi because Messi is a patient uh, in my case so I'll be showing the example too and I'll be using delete method that is very straightforward we are going to delete that particular data that looks uh, simple right so how we are going to interact with server so there are like multiple tools uh, in the market like uh, insomnia uh, over here right now or postman or like lot of tools where we can interact with this particular server and to remember this is the free server so we don't need any authentication or anything to log into this particular server and post in okay so uh, currently I am using a tool known as insomnia it is available in Google also insomnia yeah, download you can directly download this okay you can directly download this particular thing and you can start uh, playing with this so in this particular video I'm only going to show you a very basic example in the next video I'll be explaining in-depth concepts of guest post put and delete so I'll be uh, trying to pull very very basic uh, data of the messy patient data over here so I'll go to insomnia so you might not see all this option when you log in so what I'll do I'll try to close this and again re-log in once again so when you re-log in it will show something like you or else you can delete everything what I'll do I'll click new create a new ordination so that's okay yeah, when you install it, it will be looking something like you. And don't worry, I'll be explaining the complete procedure in the next video. So you can uh, click something like new collection and name it. What I will do, I'll name it as file tutorial. F-H-I-R. T-U-T-U-R-L. Yeah. I'll name it as something like this. And I need to create this uh, get post put delete uh, method so what I'll do I don't need to copy anything it's very very simple you don't need to do any coding or something like that I'll just go here and click on add button and I'll say I want an HTTP request I'll click on it so automatically you have the option get over here or else you can even change it over here get put post that's it you automatically are uh, in the get method now for the URL what I will do I won't uh, put much effort I'll directly go here you have the URL here right I'll just paste it okay and that's it I'll paste it over here and try to get it so while I'm trying to get it I am directly asking the complete URL for example we'll see what happens if we send the request now I'm going to send it so 400 bad request whenever it is 400 remember it's a bad request so you are doing something wrong now what I want is like I want Messi's patient resource so when I say patient resource if I go to fhir.org you can see okay this is not the one which I'm looking fhir Google once again so yeah this is the one over here in the resource types I'm looking for uh, Messi's patient resource okay for this particular patient what I need to do as I'm looking for patient resource I need to add patient over here okay now let's send a request again it's 200 okay but you can see it's a bundle there are like multiple resource in this particular uh, patient resource because uh, in this particular server which we are looking we have Messi we have Ronaldo we have Sachin we have like thousands of lakhs of names patient resources so we need to give some particular ID to match it but we don't know what is Messi's ID right so I already pasted a patient resource on the Messi's name I have the ID with me you can even save it and use it in the future so this is the ID which I am pasting it's something like a medical record number or a roll number or a pin number in your university or college for specifically for Messi so I'll try to paste it now and I'm using get method and I'll be sending it perfect you can see over here on the screen you got all the details about the machine the resource type is patient the ID is this one and over here you can see Messi give family name given name phone number and the basic details are the date of birth and everything so 
that's a very basic uh, patient structure I want to show you for an example so that's how you are going to use a get method and get something from the server and in the next video I'll be uh, showing all the things so don't get confused this is just a brief introduction about happy fire server and how you are going to in interact with the server uh, in the free base and try to learn the get post put delete and different types of methods and use it so as we covered what is happy fire server over here and you don't need to get confused because uh, i paste all the resource in my uh, github database where you can come and check and pull all the resource get and paste it so in the next video we are going to use all these resources as an example so not an issue at all for example you can see over here in this particular folder so in this particular folder you can see uh, all the resources for example even you can search for messy somewhere over here yeah this is the one and you can see all the details would be the same even the phone number value would be matching our insomnia so not an issue at all you can see everything is matching means uh, I have already pasted this resource in this particular server which we had and I was trying to get it by using insomnia you can get it by using postman or soup or many other tools which are available online so th this is the magic of a uh, fire server you can play it around as uh, much as possible and you can uh, do a lot of tasks so in future videos I am trying to show you how to post all this particular uh, details of uh, other particular patient resource okay we will uh, we'll get in touch soon thank you